Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today we're going to be looking at quality settings inside of Unity, and we're going to be taking a look at how to affect quality settings in the standard render pipeline in URP and HDRP, and we'll look at changing the settings to be able to create a drop down. And I've got a script with all of the settings that you'll be able to change for all the quality settings in Unity that I'll put on my Patreon for you to be able to check out to refer to everything. Be sure to also check out my Patreon to support and get hold of over 135 different scripts and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Check out all the links in the description for all the great savings on the Unity Asset Store and the fantastic Humble Bundles to throw a like on this video and be subscribed to always be up to date with everything that I'm posting. But this general overview is just touches on more for the standard render pipeline and there's something more specific that you need to know about URP and HDRP but we'll go into that but make sure that if you're not fully aware of what quality settings are and what you should change it's good to start here. Now if you go to edit and you go to project settings you will get something like this and if you navigate to quality you can get to the section which if I keep you give you a look at the game view you can set between setting the different quality levels that you can often change in games. And then you have very much individual settings for each of the quality settings that you do have, which can control text quality, anti-aliasing, and lots of different things in there. So all I've got is a canvas, which you can right click here, go UI, and then choose canvas. You can create a drop down, whether that's a drop down with Text Mesh Pro or the standard. And once you've created your drop down, you can add the levels that you've currently got for your project settings. So if you need to add more or less, you can delete ones that you might already have and then add a new quality level and name it whatever you like by editing the name here. Then if you go onto your drop down again, you can edit by adding new if you need to, new different options, but I've got low, medium, high, and ultra. And then you can set the value based on what your default value would be. So zero is the first one, one is the second, two is the third, three is the actual fourth because it starts at zero. So ultra is my default preset for this. Now, if we want to be able to control this, I'm just going to create a brand new script and I'm just going to call this a set quality and open up in Visual Studio. So then we want to just use UnityEngine.UI to use the namespace that we're going to use. And then we're going to write a square bracket serialized field and have a private drop down in my case and have that as my quality drop down. And then we'll say public void set quality level drop down. And then in brackets here, I'm just going to have the integer of the index depending on what thing we're going to choose from the drop down and then in here we'll just say that the quality settings dot set quality level and in brackets we can put in an index or whatever we're going to choose so so we can write index and then we can write a comma and you can see in visual studio it brings back a boolean which is apply expensive changes and you must remember if you're changing expensive operations if you're doing this sort of thing at runtime rather than actually restarting the level or doing it before the level starts you need to remember that this should be set to false unless you really need to do the expensive operation. Then from there, if you select your drop down, make sure that you add your script to a particular object. You can select your set quality level drop down and it will work as intended. But let's say you want to access some of the more ingrained quality settings that you need to access. So we'll just write a generic method for this and I'll just call it settings. You would reference quality settings and then dot a specific thing that we are going to need or you want to access whether it's anti-aliasing the anisotropic filtering you can also refer to this page of the documentation which is the quality settings and it shows everything that's in there which you can actually access to change but if we hold control back in visual studio and left click on set quality level you can see that it will open up with the left and control click all the different options that we might have which have get set which we can actually change but as i say on my patreon i've got this script which i've created which has all of the options which can possibly change with what type of change it is, whether it's a Boolean, which can set true or false, whether it's an integer or a float, or whether it's an enum where you actually specify what type that it actually is. And I will just go down this slowly so you can make sure that you can have a look at the things and pause the video 
and look at whichever thing that you might want to be able to change with the actual quality settings. So now we're in URP and we're going to look at changing the quality settings. So quality settings are in exactly the same place. So I edit project settings, but the difference with the project settings in URP is that a lot of the settings that were previously visible are missing and they're actually controlled by the universal render pipeline style render pipeline asset. So if you click on one of these, I've got low, medium and high, just as we had the presets previously, they correspond to low, medium and high in the universal render pipeline assets. Now let's say for instance that you have a new game and you only want two, you can remove the high and you can delete this render pipeline asset out, which controls all your settings. And you can see them along here, that when I click on high quality it has things for quality, lighting, shadows, post-processing, just like our effects did in previous times. Let's say you want to add more quality options. You can duplicate any of these options that you already have and rename it to ultra quality. And you can tweak all these settings depending on what you want to achieve. But remember, whatever setting that you want to start off with and when you add one, you need to make sure that you put the corresponding render pipeline asset to the actual slot itself. So it's on low, I need the low quality version. Now we're going to look at just scripting this. So it's done in exactly the same way as I previously showed you. So what you can do is as long as you've got a drop down and you want to set the quality drop down and we use the index, we can just yet again say quality settings dot set quality level and then open brackets index and then false again. And index is just whatever we're going to select on the drop down. and false just means that it won't do any expensive calculations because you shouldn't really do that at runtime. So we play our game and you can see here that we're currently on high, as you can see over on this side. Now, if I turn this to low, you can notice that it all changes and you realize that my universal render pipeline asset has turned to low and my quality has also turned to low. So it's adjusted the settings that we had. What about if you want to actually change the individual quality settings rather than doing it in the project settings anymore? So if you want to access a specific of the render pipeline assets, you can go using unity engine dot rendering dot universal so we can access the universal render pipeline and in this instance we can create a serialized field private and then we can choose or create a universal render pipeline asset and i'm just going to call this underscore my pipeline what we're going to set and then in this case we can say underscore my pipeline dot and then we can access exactly the same thing so i could put the shadow distance to 10. so when we set this drop down it's going to change the specific one that we're mentioning so let's say back on my drop down i have my set quality and i'm just going to add whichever asset that i want to maybe i'll change my medium and then i make sure that i'm on set quality again and when i press play you can see by default my medium is 50 and then when i put this drop down and choose medium it will set to 10 and of course it would change when I change any of them it would change it to 10 because we're not specifically choosing the asset based on which one we select. And then what you could have is a switch case statement. So we switch between the index with what we choose. So this could be our low poly render pipeline asset and we want to set that equal to 20 when we switch the drop down when we choose the medium which is the medium asset, we'll set it the medium to 50 or the high to 100 and then we'll just set the quality level each time we move something on the drop down based on the drop down that we've already chosen. And I'll put this script also on my Patreon for you to get access to that too. And now we're going to look at HDRP and if you've watched any of the other parts this will be fairly straightforward. But if you haven't and you check out the project settings in HDRP you can go to file project settings, check out the quality and compared to SRP and URP, SRP has all the options down here. URP has some of them, but they're held in render pipeline assets. In HDRP, that is no different. So you have levels of quality as you would normally, so low, medium, high, but again, they're held in rendering and render pipeline assets. So say we're on the medium quality level and we click the render pipeline asset, it will open up what actual render pipeline assets we already have in this project. And you can go to the inspector and you can see all the settings for rendering, decals, lighting, reflections, and so much more. Say we want to add or remove quality levels. You can delete the low if you don't want low anymore, or you can duplicate low and add an ultra preset just by naming it to HDRP ultra quality, name it whatever you want and adjust the settings accordingly to what you want to achieve 
then you can go back onto your project settings, make sure you add a quality level and in the quality level, make sure that you add the corresponding render pipeline asset. Now, if you want to change this at runtime, the actual quality level, I've just got a simple drop down with high, medium and low. My value is on one because medium is the start value. And then I've just got the drop down to change with the actual index value that it has. And you can see in my script here, it's just like it was in URP in the standard render pipeline that I've got a reference to the drop down. I've just got a public method called set quality level drop down. We have an integer for the index, which the drop down will have, and then we'll have quality settings dot set quality level and then the index we have chosen from the drop down and then false which it won't apply expensive actions that would be more or less performant at runtime so we could test that out and you can look at my project settings it's on medium by default we can set down to low in this case and you can see on this side it's set to the low quality and the low quality asset is added and of course we can go back to say so we go to the high preset and you can see that it's changed. Do let me know in the comments if you've got any suggestions to make this more performant, anything better, and I will add all the scripts that you've seen in this video to my Patreon so you can get access to edit all the details and everything that you need to find and do with quality settings. So be sure to come and check out my Patreon to support the channel and get access to another 135 different scripts, projects, and assets you cannot find anywhere else. Come and join me on Discord if you want to chat and check out my great assets on the Unity Asset Store, including massive discounts on my website for those same assets, along with bonus codes for all my patrons and subscribers. Thank you to everybody who subscribed to the patron and a big thanks to Peter Steiner, Raheem Whitaker, Pavel, Tanyan Lin, Monetary, US Rust Tube 2X and Ian and everybody else who comes to watch and subscribe. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Cheers.